Hello, in today's video I am testing for you the latest vacuum cleaner from Samsung, specifically the Bespoke Jet AI model. How does it perform in practice? Is it worth buying? That's exactly what I'll discuss in today's review. I warmly invite you all to join me. After publishing the review of the last cordless vacuum cleaner, I had the opportunity to test. I received many comments from you, for which I sincerely thank you. You asked about various aspects related to the functioning of that vacuum cleaner, and also suggested different ways to test future vacuum cleaners. I really appreciate your feedback and have taken those comments into account in today's review. Just a quick note at the beginning of the video, namely, this is the most expensive cordless vacuum cleaner I've had the chance to test so far, as at the time of recording this, the Samsung Bespoke Jet I costs a whopping 1,000 euros plus shipping. I am very curious to see how the vacuum cleaner performs in practice, and I want to show it to you today. First impression, the vacuum cleaner arrived in a surprisingly large box, all due to the quite large number of attachments included, as well as a special all-in-one docking station, which is one big component. The whole set is in graphite color, adding elegance to the vacuum cleaner. I must say, I was surprised by the large docking station and various attachments. For the first time in a long time, I reached for the manual before deciding to start the vacuum cleaner. How does this vacuum cleaner present itself? It is quite subtle and does not particularly catch the eye. Its colors are toned down, without unnecessary additional embellishments or an excessive amount of chrome inserts. The handle of the device, combined with a rather long battery, resembles controllers from old remote control toys. The perforated housing, which is plastic with a rubber anti-slip material, touches our hand. Almost immediately upon gripping, you can feel an element that fits between our index and middle finger. This solution allows for better holding of the rather heavy central unit and makes it easier to maneuver it sideways. The central unit itself looks as if it is made of rather poor quality plastic, which somewhat surprised me at this price of the vacuum cleaner. Right above the handle, there's a screen and three buttons, minus and plus for changing the working mode, and the bigger middle button is the power switch. In my opinion, it is a bit too sensitive and too easy to accidentally press. Many times I found myself inadvertently turning the vacuum cleaner back on as I was putting it back in the station. The Samsung Bespoke Jet I is equipped with a hex jet engine with up to 730 watts of power generating a suction power of up to 280 watts. This is both the latest and the most powerful cordless vacuum cleaner among all Samsung's previous models. The set also includes two batteries with a charger. The manufacturer promises that fully charged batteries will allow us to vacuum in automatic mode, the so-called AI mode, for a total of up to 160 minutes. In my experience, this time depends on many factors while vacuuming in AI mode with the largest turbo brush. A fully charged battery allows for about 55 minutes of continuous work, but changing attachments, for example, to a crevice nozzle, significantly reduces this time. The remaining working time is displayed on the screen after turning on the vacuum cleaner. The device can be charged in two ways. The first is an external charger. After inserting the battery into it, LED lights turn on indicating the approximate level of charge. There's red, orange, and green. The second method is through the docking station. If it is connected to an external power supply and we insert the vacuum cleaner into it, it will start charging automatically. Bespoke Jetai also displays information about the percentage state of the battery. Brushes and attachments in the set. In the set with the vacuum cleaner, I received three brushes and additional attachments. The first brush is called Active Dual LED Eye and is the most universal, suitable for various surfaces, removing dust, cleaning carpets, and also collecting pet hair. It also has LED lights that illuminate the surface, helping us see the dirt. The second brush is the Slim LED Eye. It's smaller, narrower, and has a, a soft roller over its entire surface, dedicated to hard and delicate floors, and also has lighting. The third brush is the Mini Pet Tool Plus the narrowest of all brushes, dedicated to removing pet hair from furniture upholstery. The roller has the shape of the letter VAI, which helps to collect hair and fur towards the center where it is cut by a metal plate and then sucked into the dust container. This means that you don't have to manually remove hair from the brush. 
The set also includes a flexible attachment, a dust brush, and an extendable crevice tool for hard to reach places. I really like the option of extending the vacuum cleaner's tube. After fully extending it, the vacuum cleaner lengthens to almost 170 centimeters, which facilitates vacuuming, for example, high ceilings. Docking station. The docking station is simply huge. Cordless vacuum cleaners from other brands have accustomed us to the fact that docking stations are usually mounted to the wall and do not take up too much space. After finishing work, the device is automatically charged. In Samsung's model, the docking station is not suspended but standing. It looks quite interesting, has a large and fairly stable base, resembling a computer monitor screen holder. This solution allowed creating a place to slide in the vacuum cleaner brush after putting it back into the central unit. The station is quite tall because inside it the manufacturer has hidden filters for dust. After connecting the station to the power supply and placing the vacuum cleaner in it, we can activate the cleaning mode. The working station then performs its magic, opens the vacuum cleaner's container and sets the device into vibrations, removing most of the dirt from its interior. Thanks to this, the next time we take it for vacuuming, the container will be empty and all the dirt will have gone into the bag. The station uses the Airspin Edge technology, a mechanism that rotates at a speed of 1000 revolutions per minute, facilitating the removal of even tangled hair. Additionally, the station is equipped with a multi-layer filter, capturing most dust particles. This is a very good solution because I have a cyclonic vacuum cleaner at home, as well as a vertical cordless one. In these cases, there is always a big problem with emptying the containers without getting dirty and inhaling dust. I don't like a few ill-considered solutions though. If we put the vacuum cleaner back without attaching the tube and brush, it will move and may even fall from the docking station. It holds securely only after attaching the tube and brush to it. Here, however, another surprise. The tube is extendable and must be folded back to its default position for the vacuum cleaner to fit in the docking station. This is quite a hassle for quick vacuuming. Inserting the bottom of the vacuum cleaner, the brush scratched the rather thin paint of the base after just a few days. The cleaning process itself may be quick, but it is also very loud. Keep this in mind when you want to quickly vacuum something in the evening, for example, in the kitchen. In most cases, you will have the docking station set to auto, so each time you put it back, the container will be cleaned. The set also includes a spare trash bag. Out of curiosity, I also checked their price. A set of five pieces costs 25 euros. So one, not very large bag, costs as much as 5 euros. For this price, you can buy 5 normal bags for a regular vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner in practice. Moving on to more detailed tests, I took into account what you wrote in the comments, namely, you asked me to check how vacuum cleaners cope with varied surfaces and different types of dirt. And so, from the perspective of time, I know that it wasn't a great idea to sprinkle ground coffee on a white carpet with thick pile. Although, apart from the slight staining, of course the coffee slightly colored the carpet, I must admit that the vacuum cleaner coped quite well with this contamination. It just sucked in the coffee perfectly. To make sure nothing was left in the carpet, I drove over it with different vacuum cleaner attachments, both the brush dedicated for pets and the regular one, typical for universal surfaces. Already after the first few moments, the vacuum cleaner sucked up all the contamination. But this was a very positive surprise. For further tests, I sprinkled various dirt on different surfaces. These were panels, glazed grez, a kitchen countertop, and also a piece of an induction cooker. As you can see in the video, both flour, coarse-grained pepper, fine-grained pepper, a piece of universal seasoning, which is quite sticky, coffee, sugar, and also salt. And I tell you, Samsung coped brilliantly here. I tested this vacuum cleaner with several attachments and it was enough to just drive the vacuum cleaner over the surface once in the default automatic mode, the so-called II, and virtually one pass completely eliminated the contamination. I was very positively surprised at how well Samsung coped with such contamination on various surfaces. It's worth adding that the vacuum cleaner is very agile. Even a slight wrist movement allows you to smoothly turn the brush by 90 degrees 
and that without much effort. The problem arose when I decided to vacuum the corners of a high ceiling. Then you can feel in your wrist how heavy the central unit with the battery is. Additionally, lifting the vacuum cleaner over your head, for example at the crevices, the air outlet blows straight into your face which is not exactly pleasant. There is also the possibility of connecting to Samsung's SmartThings application via a QR code. It's quick and easy, but the functionality itself is quite limited, so it's actually not worth pairing them. In the app, you can check, among other things, when we last cleaned the container automatically, whether the device does not report any error, turn on the forwarding of notifications about an incoming SMS or phone call to the vacuum cleaner's display, or check how much power we have used for charging the battery so far. Speaking of the downsides, I miss a flexible attachment and a brush dedicated to the car. The brushes in the set are too wide and quite stiff to maneuver efficiently around the curves of the upholstery, so only the nozzle remains. And it is quite narrow and can get clogged, and it takes a lot of effort to vacuum the entire car. It is also worth paying attention to the size of the entire set. The docking station is large, and if you live in a small apartment, you will not have anywhere to put it. There is also a holder for accessories, and it cannot be attached to the docking station, so you need to plan additional space for it. However, over 1,000 euros for the entire set, in my opinion, is at least twice too much. And that's the main reason why I wouldn't buy this vacuum cleaner. But it does quite well in practice, so if you have a place to put it, if you have a budget for such a vacuum cleaner, then I think you can consider and confidently buy this vacuum cleaner because it will prove itself for what it was designed for. And also, a big plus of it is that the batteries hold up quite well. Not as much as the manufacturer promises because the manufacturer promises 160 minutes in eye mode. In my case, during the tests, it's about 100 minutes. 